the Award of Excellence recipient. Woo! You know what? No comments. <laughs> All right. Again, guys, thank you so much. We're hanging out and having some fun. Before we get on with the presentations, we have a very special treat for you. Voted in one of the Canada's all-time most popular and best performers. Now, not Jamaican performers, not reggae performers. One of Canada's all-time top performers. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause for the man himself, Mr. Jay Douglas. Thank you. Mr. Kerry Lee Crawford, ladies and gentlemen. 98.7... FM. Before we go to Father, we need to send positive vibes to Mr. Gordon. The power of prayer. No, you have to clap because we are the right. And we need 98.7. We need it. It's the voice of the community. Thanks for having me here. Let me sing some music before my chat. <laughs> Please put your hands together for Joe. <laughs> Joe and I have worked the high seas for many years. The Mediterranean, also the Caribbean. For many years when things weren't happening in Toronto with the music, we had to work cruise ships. And that's where Jay, uh, Joe and I met, and we're still working together.
thank you, Mr. Joe Powell, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like you all, for those of you who have grandchildren, let me see you put your hands up. Come on. Put your hands up. All of you out there who have grandchildren in the house, let me see. Great. You're blessed. Someone want to ask you something. Where the grand pick the devil? How come someone going to have them here? Answer me. Let me talk now. J. Douglas, I sing about me. I'll get serious now. Where the grandchildren are? Where are they? They are the gem of the future. Dudley, brother Dudley Laws. You all don't get it. If I'm not a part of the solution, you're part of the problem. You don't understand how many weekdays throughout the year. Sometimes I'll call, Loki. Gee, we can't talk to you now. Right now, me and Sister Valerie and Mr. Gilliam with our court house. You don't have a clue what they do per day for us. Do you understand what I'm saying? The other day, the gentleman, the judge, Mr. who did the police report, Mr. Teller, it was a hell of a job. And there were supposed to be changes taking place. Now, how much of these changes have been implemented? If not been for bad seed, they're not going to make those changes. But what I say to you, how long can they keep up this work? Are we getting the children ready? Answer me. They are the gem of the future. Respectfully, we need the children here. We got to start. We're not going to have Sister Valerie, Mr. Gilliam, Logie forever. We got to pass the baton on. And I say to you respectfully, lovingly, when Dudley was alive, Mr. Laws, a lot of us took him for granted, even me. But I woke up to reality. Ask Logie, Logie, come here, please. Let me say something to you. You will back me up. You remember the day the gentleman saw Mr. Law and the streetcar riding? Tell them what the gentleman said about riding a streetcar. He said, Mr. Lars, you riding a streetcar? He said, your community is no good. In my community, you'll be a chauffeur driven around every day. All right. Check that out. Check that out. The message continued. And as I said before, if I'm not part of the solution, I'm a part of the problem. We got to get the children involved. So next year, I'm committed to help recruiting the grandchildren and give them the message. Yes, and I hope you understand. Yes, send, them yes, <laughs> send them to Luther Brown School. We will do that. Now, I love you all respectfully and thank you for the support you've been giving me. Let me sing a classic for you. Henry Marx is here from Henry's Records, all my friends, a little Foundation music again. I can't forget where I'm coming from. Yeah, the computer speaks. Caress through my infinities, but this 
this evening. We're going to keep the program going. We know it's gone just a little bit longer than anticipated. So we're going to get back into the awards presentation. And at this time, I'm going to invite to the podium for the presentation of the dedication award, Mr. Quavina Ifeo. Ladies and gentlemen, a round round of applause for Mr. Quavina Ifeo. Quavina. And I hear people clap your one. Wow. Where did it go? <laughs> While we wait for Quavina to hit the stage, we're also going to remind you that you can get your raffle tickets. What we are raffling off is a uh, $600 Boulevard watch. It's a silver women's watch, so you know that special lady in your life now. I'm going to tell you something, Mother's Day is next week, right? Next weekend. So, uh, you know, you're thinking about getting that special mother in your life, something really nice. Well, this is a real value that all you have to do. One ticket for $5, three tickets for $10, and you could be the owner of a brand new Boulevard watch. So, you can get your tickets now. The draw is just a few moments away. So. We will try that again, ladies and gentlemen. Another round of applause for Mr. Quabina Yafeo. <laughs> Thank you, Kurt. Okay, so this is uh, with great pleasure and the great honor that they asked me to uh, do this presentation. So at this time, I'm going to call Nancy Sims to the stage. Nancy Sims has supported Batsy for over 10 years and has donated three years of scholarships through Humber College. Education is one of the key bridges to equity. This belief guides her work in the areas of anti-violence, anti-discrimination, literacy, human resources, and human rights. Nancy's contributions to social justice demonstrate that education is of enormous importance in the task of dismantling inequality. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2018 Dudley Law Scholarship Award for dedicated, Dedication Award goes to Miss Nancy Sims. So
So I have to tell you, I'm, you know, I'm a long time member of Baxi. I was there from, you know, Lester Donaldson and all of that stuff, do all the marching, so forth. Uh, not just show member, but do it in the trenches membership. There are people in this audience who understand that when we go to a meeting at one o'clock, we're not coming home until 11 at night because we're working stuff up. You understand? So Sister Nancy has been with this organization in all many different ways, supporting us and, you know, always there. Uh, she supports it financially, human resource, her hands, her mind. And uh, so this is truly uh, a great, great uh, privilege to give her this award. The award says uh, to Nancy Sims, in recognition of your outstanding commitment and contribution towards the Black Action Defense Committee, May 6, 2018. Nancy, give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up to Sister Nancy Sims. Had always had 
advocated on these issues with police and other issues. Batsy needed to be formed. On the second floor of the JCA building, on 1621 Dupont Street, there was a safe haven for the members, founding members of Batsy, to sit and talk and start to form this BADC organization. And we have supported and allied with them all through the many years. It is my pleasure to bring to the stage Kingsley Gilliam. For more than 47 years, Kingsley has been advocating and fighting for black people in this community, not only in this community, but elsewhere in Canada. Many a night, Kingsley has called, and my wife has said, Kingsley is calling. And this will mean a long television discussion over the phone. It is my pleasure to bring to the stage Kingsley Gilliam. Kingsley Gilliam has been a member of BATC for over 20 years and serves as the Director of Communications and Social Services. During his tenure as Director of Communications and Social Services for BATC, he has provided commentary to various media houses on issues affecting the black community. Through press releases, press conferences, deputations, and other presentations, he has influenced government action to regulate carding and much, much more. Ladies and gentlemen, your Legends Award recipient for 2018 is Mr. Kingsley Gilliam. Thank you, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to bore you. I have 120 seconds to speak to you. I must say I am in awe because I don't know what I'm guilty of to be awarded the Legend Award. When I did my first introductory course in philosophy, I learned a, from a lot of legends, Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, Hegel, and so on. But all of them became legends after.